<laughs> that is too fun. That is too fun. Oh. No, I don't use the electronics. I just let you do that and then tell me what's in there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut up. Absolute chungus. It's been a fun one. I know it's been non-stop action. <laughs> I had the jokester getting joked. Yeah, they're all sitting down there. What are we in? 30 feet of water? 40 feet of water? Yeah, 25. 25. Close enough. Just round all the way up to 40. Why not? You can see the mud or the clay from where he was sitting down there on the bottom. That's the one I have. <laughs> oh! Well, that's a better one. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Lake Hartwell. We're out here... Uh, the weekend before, we're going to be doing some practicing for the Fisher of Men stop number two. It is on Lake Hartwell. I believe it's going to be the second week in February. So coming up here in about a week or so. And I'm uh, just out here doing a little practicing, a little fun fishing. We're going to see what we can find. I haven't been up here in a while, probably a few months. So I'm going to take you guys along and just walk you guys through my process. I've actually got a buddy coming out. Tom's coming to fish with me again today. We're just going to see what we can do. We're going to see if we can't put a good pattern together to kind of build on for the tournament. And then we will go from there. So you guys stay tuned. Should be a fun day. We're probably going to have some laughs. Uh, hopefully catch some fish. We'll see what happens. How long have you been out here? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. You doing good? Yeah. Catch anything yet? Uh, no. Nothing? Uh, bummer. No. Bummer. I've seen a few, but nothing big. The birds over there were just diving on something. Yeah, I've been playing around. They're gonna be in the ditches. Water comes 48. Oh, it's 48? Yeah. Yuck. Gross. We just gotta find some right ditches. Oh my gosh, I just got smashed. I think you took my word. Oh. That bugger. Was it a big one? Big toe. Giant. It's a big toe. Alright, let's get out of here. Where do you want to go pick that up? Let's pick that up. Oh, there's a, that's a jet out. Let's do the uh, covered one. Yeah. Let's fish, let's fish this pocket and just see. You gonna stick with the underspin there? I might. If Probably you do, not. I'd say let it sink to the bottom and crawl. Crawl it versus reel it. Yeah. There's so many fish over there, Tom. There's so many fish, Tom. Keep bumping it. There's like a, a big sport of fish down there under that dock. Are you on the bottom? I let it sink. Oh, I think there's some weeds. Oh, you got some some garbage. There's your problem. Nice spot. Yeah, that's a good spot. That is a good spot. You want to keep our? You want to weigh our best five? See what happens. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Why not? All right, guys, that's number one. On the old. I got to be honest. It's on the Nico. I was gonna mess with you guys, but. I gotta be truthful. You know what I'm saying, Tom? Yeah, for sure. For, for sure. sure. For sure. Always, always, yeah, never always lie. gotta be honest. Never lie when you're fishing. Yeah, never lie. I understand. That's yeah. nice. That's courteous of you. Yeah, I know. I'm really a good person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there were like 10 fish under this point. That's, I can't believe you didn't catch one. So I guess if you were on the bottom, they're still up there. I pulled in some weeds, a little bit of snot grass. You could have your head. Yeah, with, these, with the scope fish, you want it all above your head. Like when I say lift, I don't mean like move the rod. I just mean like try to keep the bait up higher. That's what I meant. I say you can drop to the bottom, see if you eat it. I didn't. I didn't trust. I didn't trust the okay. process. You don't trust the electronics? No. I didn't trust the fish. No. I didn't trust the fish. I didn't trust the fish. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't there. I like the honesty. It wasn't there. Love the honesty. <laughs> It was a dink. It was so small. Nico rig? Don't, give, don't tell the people. You just did. Oh yeah, you're right. 
Yeah, good thing this is going to air after the tournament. Yeah, who am I kidding? We can blow up this lake. I don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fool. He twisted my worm around and everything. Wow. Got some flesh. Simply a flesh wound. It's a flesh wound, a flesh wound. Look how weird. That doesn't really make sense. In You'd think it would be cold. colder under the dock, right? No. I don't know how that works. Like, I'm Maybe. not a big thermodynamics guy. Maybe, but I'll bet you they won't eat. Right under there. It would have to be. But shouldn't it be shadier and therefore colder? Well, no. What I would think is, yes, maybe that, but the... Like the black? So anything, you know, if you're like on the top of the water, like if you touch anything under the water, there's like a film of heat that radiates down off of that. Oh, interesting. They're probably really close to it, so yeah. it probably is way warmer, I would think. Interesting. Than the actual... Trust me, I'm a scientist. <laughs> Let me explain that to you guys. <laughs> I'm an expert in this field. Well, you set into it, Will. You had the people fooled. Wasn't getting off. Like that. You had the people fooled. Oh, that grass, though? That does not look like any grass. Smell it. Yeah. It does smell good, actually. It smells really good. Smell it. <laughs> I know, it's I, fresh. I, I smelled it immediately. And we're going to fish that dock. It's not going to take us long to get over there. What are you going to throw in there? I need to. I'm going to throw a jerk bait. I'm going to keep plucking around with that thing for now. Should we crank that rock? I should crank that rock. I don't have a crank tied on. It's a Tommy! You can throw an underspin over it. I guess I guess it's good, yeah. I'm gonna throw a jerk bait over the top. Power fishing, baby. <gasps> Kevin, oh. No! I liked it better when it was top water. Yeah, well, it yeah, no duh. Because it was <laughs> stupid. It was way more fun. Okay, we fished for a. You've been here for an hour. Yeah, no duh, we're fishing winter time. The fish are bigger in the summer. No, they're not. Yeah, huh? No, they're not. Yeah, huh? It's so <laughs> not true. <laughs> they fight bigger. They fight bigger. They do. They fight bigger. I guess. That's true. That is true. I should have got a different color pair of bait. I yeah. already don't like this one. Yeah, definitely. I was I was gonna say something, but then I was like, you know, Tommy B knows what he's doing. No, I don't like this one. No, why would you get that color? Because it looked better online. Probably the color you like. I wanted a ghost to your Yeah, their colors online look very different than what they show up as. It looked better online. We hit a main lake corner here, around the corner here, we'll smash them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With fish on it? Well, it had a ton of fish. It was going to have a ton of You would think it would just reverse. You'd think so. Definitely something different than just the, the vibration. That's the one I had. <laughs> oh, spray for the camera. <laughs> nice job. Nice job dude. What spot? Look at how orange they are. They're very pale. Orange? Oh wait, see he's got mud stains. Oh yeah. This is a monster. This is gonna be the smallest one. Well, I hope so. <laughs> well no, we gotta get rid of him. Alright, check this one out. I'm gonna show you guys something here. Look on his belly, you can see the mud or the clay 
from where he was sitting down there on the bottom. So I was just bumping that underspin slowly along the bottom, just ticking the bottom, and he picked it up. Tiny dink. It's gotta be me, always. It's gotta be you, always. Yeah. Never be anybody else. That's right. You're the best at being Cam B. That's right. No one does Cam B better than Cam. That's right. I'm gonna get us up to this next pile. Yeah. And then we'll pull eight on him. Blade, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, that is energy. <laughs> we'll be just fine. Got him? Solid one. Heck yeah. Feels like actually a decent thing. You want to get the net? Oh, net, 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 <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Come back here, you little rat. All right. Kind of similar to what uh, what Cam was just saying. I'm throwing a blade bait here and uh, hopping it along the bottom. This one doesn't have quite as prominent of um, you know orange markings on it, but he definitely hit it right off the bottom because I'm not. I'm not more than five to ten feet off the bottom at any given time, and it's just crashing back down. So all these fish are probably in... less than that. Maybe yeah, even. rip it up. Yeah, yeah. I guess um, when you rip it up, yeah. And it's just crashing back down to bottom. This one hit it on the fall, but um, yeah, they're all sitting down there. What are we in? Thirty feet of water? Forty feet of water? Yeah, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Close enough. Just round all the way up to forty. Why not? <laughs> um, but yeah. Nice little uh, Lake Hartwell spotted bass. I can't believe you didn't get the net. What gave it away? And you started saying, net, 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 net. <laughs> <laughs> you have a two and a half. <laughs> yeah, that, that is not two and a half. Yeah, nice two and a half Lake Hartwell spotted bass here. Yeah, two and a half ounces. All right, in you go, bud. Oop, just bounce it off the gunnel. Want them dumber for next time. Blade bait. Told you to be the juice. All right. Well, we cut more fish off the points than we have. <laughs> oh, there's there's a lot of fish down there, and they're all on the edge of the break. So your blade bait should actually work pretty well. I love blade bait fishing. It's electric. It's electric. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't bend out the hooks on braid. This doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Did that fish eat it good? Oh, yeah. Had both hooks? Uh, he had the back hook, but he had all of the back hook. Okay. He might have had the front hook at one point, too, but it was not pinned gotcha. when he came in. But yeah, he had it really good. Had three hooks in him. <laughs> or three points of a hook, rather. All right. All right. I want to make one cast deep, like right off this ledge off to the river channel. I'm just going to creep this along the bottom. And I'd say, yeah, cast right over there. We'll make one cast, and then we're going to spin around and go back up to the point and see if we can kick some more off. Yeah. Because they're swimming all up and down that point. Yeah. We're in 30 feet now, so that's probably... He must have hit it on the fall. They're literally in like 25 to 30 feet. Yeah. Like spot on. Huh. Who could have guessed that? <laughs> <laughs> Who could have guessed that? Oh. Did you get smashed? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got absolutely crushed. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Fresh, that fresh early spring grass. Mm. Oh, get a whiff of that. You just don't get that all through here. Oh, baby, we're in that pile so good. Yeah, I'm in there. 
I'm in dog. I'm in dog. I'm in dog. I'm in dog. You see how much that rod doubled over? That's such a good rod. <laughs> the rod is sick. It looks like a crankbait rod. It is my crank. This is my square bill rod. Okay. Yeah. It's awesome. It looks good. Oh, it's so good. It's not an expensive rod either. No. I think it's like 100 bucks, 120 bucks, something like that. Let's go try another one. <laughs> I'm actually surprised we didn't get bit there. I did. Let's see how many. Really nice. Did you see how many fish were in that brush there? No. You did? No, I don't use the electronics. I'll just let you do that and then tell me what's in there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shut up. I'll tell you where it is. <laughs> I use the like I use the topographic map. I don't really use the <laughs> I can't believe we didn't get bit there. They were actively feeding. I don't think it was they, I think it was one thing. Yeah, but I wanted to catch it. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's probably a striper. Yeah. Which would have been a lot of fun. Ton of fun. Not like that one spot, but I think they all came out of that brush pile. And they're all dinks. Every fish we found in a brush pile is a dink. You know? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's go fish docks. And uh, I had that two and a half this morning, and then who knows how big that one was that was under the boat. It felt heavy. Yeah. Like when I it was like, you can see the rod load up. Oh yeah. It would have been deep. Sure did. There's nothing, yeah. Let's go fish docks. Yeah, let's eat lunch. Yeah, let's eat lunch. Yeah, it was way more fun when we just pull up to a point for a top water. Dude, and you get blown up by largemouth. Yeah, why don't we just do that every time? Well, it'll happen in the spring, maybe April. I'll come back up in April. All right, guys, we're going to give you a little midday update slash report. It's been pretty bad. Not good. Not it, good. It's not good. It's <laughs> not it, good. It has not been great. We've caught four fish so far. Could be better. We found a couple different patterns. Number one was the dock bite. Caught them on like dragon worm. Nothing crazy there. Oh, I'll show you guys that bait later. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe <laughs> if you're lucky. But uh, other than that, we ran some points, ran some brush piles. Other than that, caught some fish out of the brush piles. I think we caught two of our fish. Got so right now, we've kind of just been junk fishing. We've caught a couple small ones out deeper on the points, I would say. I guess it's not deeper. It's yeah, like there's more feet. like main lake points and stuff. Yeah. Our quality has come under the docks right now. So we're about to fish a few more points and then head back to the docks to see if we can't dial in that bite. Right now, we have about, I think, maybe <laughs> seven, seven pounds, pounds in the bag. for four fish. So. We need like a five pound largey. Let's and, get a uh, kicker. Yeah, let's hopefully do that. So we'll see what happens here after lunch and we'll see if we can't dial in that dock bite to just, I don't know. The goal is to get to 15. If we get to 15 pounds, I'll feel pretty good going into tournament day. So one fish away from 15. Yeah, we'll see. That is true. <laughs> that is true. We could catch a giant. Let's catch a giant. <laughs> I'm gonna scope a 10 out of here. <laughs> cool. It's really cold. cold. It's not cold. Yes, it is. 51? That's the huh, they don't start moving until like 60. No, that's prime spawn. No, prime spawn is 70. Uh-uh. That's it? No, that's your way post at that point. No. Yeah. no. Oh, yeah. Your way post at 70. Think how hot it has to be out for the water to be 70. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I guess 70 is top water. Is it 70 top water? Yeah, like post spawn. Yeah, you're probably right. But still though, they don't start moving until I bet you upper 50s. They don't start, I mean a lot of them will start really moving. Yeah. But they'll start moving. There's some bait on this really. I'm just surprised. No, or that they're just not here yet. They're not here yet. I mean, it'll probably happen within the next two weeks. Yeah. But they're just not here a little early. Yeah. I think we are. I told you, still on Lanier, everyone's been talking, you know, like, oh, they, they, they're still in. Like, they're definitely moving, yeah. but moving right now, like, yeah. where they've moved, they moved from, like, 40 to 60 feet yeah. to still in the ditches to, like, from, like, 20 to 40 feet. Yeah. That's where they've moved. It hasn't been, like, they've jumped spots yet. Yeah. I'm cutting that out for sure. <laughs> I can't give you guys the juice on my home lake. No way. No, I thought the males move up. The little males move up The first. females usually move up first. 
and then the bucks come in behind them and they stay around forever. Mm -hmm. um, no, no you're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. The little males go up first. The little males go up first, and then the, the females will be like a point behind them. You're right. You're correct. A lot of action on this point. Live action! Better hold on. I thought these were going to be money. They should be. They're at the, the mouth, right off the main lane. No, they're not. Let's go fish dock. Yeah. Did you call your shot? Oh, it's a large one. Ooh, that's a good one. That looks like a better one. 